35. We reach the point where it was being proposed to expunge so paragraphs 2 and 3 of paragraph 35. If that is the consensus, they will proceed. 26. Yes. Can I be heard on, uh, on the issue of 35-2? Uh, By all means, if you insist. Yes. Go ahead. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Swain, Mr. Chairman, honorable members, the government has proposed in this bill to provide subvention for political parties. And uh, if you look at the, the subsequent provision 2 and 3 2, it has also set out qualifications for that subvention. I think um, what the government is trying to do is to open up the space for effective political participation in the country. And this is a government that prides itself in um, building up its own democratic credentials and allowing effective participation of all and sundry within the political spectrum. So which is why we propose in this bill, this is not a novel practice. It's been done in other parts of the world, in other countries, even on the continent of Africa, where government do provide subvention for other political parties. And it's stated clearly said to help build up their capacity. So this is not new. It's not only uh, restricted to so union. So I'm asking that we look at this provision again and see how we can best add, if any, for a qualification for political parties or requirement for political parties to meet for them to qualify for this. But it is the position of government uh, that um, we have this provision maintained in the Act as we are moving gradually into building a new democratic disposition in Sierra Leone. And this government is taking the lead on the Excellency Julius Mada view for bringing about so many innovations in the democratic space. So I'm asking that we kindly look again at this provision, if any, but I believe that the requirements of set for you to qualify, particularly if you say error criteria has been set by the commission, is um, caters for that, but if parliament thinks that we can add additional qualification, I mean requirements to them, let's do that so that we can maintain this provision in the act instead of deleting it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Minister. Thank you very much for such a brilliant move. So we want to meet this parliament and our, our lost progressive and look at the beauty of our democracy. So I don't know you can always be pushing that. We should look at the subvention as a model practice. So we went out to get um, some discussions around the minister. He has, he has already done his bit and we are planning Man. to have to shape the hard we need subvention. So I'm happy you are run. Maybe we can add. Two, the last paragraph, as he said, yeah. uh, the other criteria has may be set by the commission. But there are certain criteria, Mr. Chairman, I want us to keep it in here. One, we want the political party to get um, 5% of the national vote cast. You can deliberate on that, that's a proposal. 5% of the national votes. That's A, we want it to be A. B, Members, political party that have representation in parliament. Political party that have representation in parliament. That's why there is no cap on it. Automatically, if you have political party in parliament, you have to maintain this party. Because this is how we want to maintain political party to function. Especially when we have secretaries. We have asked them to form a secretary in anticipation that if the person membership is given. So, and A now B C, Mr. Chairman, that uh, includes, we talk about inclusivity. Not only having smaller parties to come, but also looking at other criteria. Gender is one. We have part of the GBB, which is not an act. 
we are trying to enforce that one. Disability can come in, etc. But notwithstanding, the politics is dynamic. The fluidity of the situation is different now. So we can give the latitude to the commission to count all our criteria may be set by the commission. So I, this is the format I want to do. Because the, this is taxpayers. The reason why I'm asking that we put some cargo directly into the into the act, into the, the proposed act, is that we want the public to see that we are doing the interest for the survival of our democracy. We're not doing it because we are politicians. We want to live. I, if I don't have, if I'm not in parliament, I'm not in governance, I will set up a political party. I enjoy the, 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 the benefit from the taxes. So let it be world well worded and look at the criteria that we That's my proposal. Well, you would have done well to your proposal if you had worded it well. I've done it already. I expect your next officer to take my proposal into consideration. I've done it already. I've been saying it. I said, well, 5% of the people. They are right there. They are supposed to write it. They cannot be sitting there and next officer watching it. I cannot be talking and writing at the same time. I will be talking and they will do the thing that we have a draft plan here. So let us take a pin on it and we'll come back. Maybe you only do you tell us they like to add or we like to modify what I've said. So I want you to give me when you were talking to me that you have me talk about this. Thank you, sir. Can we give him a chance to let down who is who is? Now give him a chance and give others also who want to speak or need a chance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank this you. This is democratic. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, colleagues, for uh, reflecting on this further. So I, want, I wanted to help with the wording for A, uh, 25. So the new A that the uh, leader of government business is proposing, the eligibility for a government subvention under subse subsection 2, which has been based on, so the A might read, the party achieving at least 5% of the total votes for votes cast in the general election. That's just the first zero. We can begin to look at the implication of that. But the party achieving at least at least five percent of achieving at least five percent of the not total less. Votes, not not less. Okay, not less than five percent of the total votes cast in the general election. Okay, we'll come back and debate those words later. The second one B of the valid votes cast. In the general election. B. The party has gained at least one seat. We may not even put a number. We may say the party has gained seats in the party. As long as you are in parliament. Yeah, as long as you are in So the political party. Has gained seats. Is represented in Parliament. No, represented. Bravo. That's, that's better. Has, is represented in Parliament. Yeah. These are very stiff criteria. So people should know this is not a free law. Ask me, I know how difficult it is to get 5%. No, no, that's a proposal. Yeah, yeah. So now it's all for debate. So I, no, I just want people to realize that 5% looks like a small number. But they should ask me. After four years. <laughs> <laughs> and then A becomes C. Then the current A becomes C, as he says, then the current B becomes T. Leaving it open. That one is going to get it. Yes, sir. Yes, um, Maybe no, perhaps no, another no, position. No, no, because I have to do the same. It's about capacity building. Can we get that? Or we add as a terms of capacity building. The very important is the party produce a capacity building plan in which the subvention will be based on support. Because if it's still already the same, the capacity of capacity building, capacity building has to be defined. Either it is capacity building of an general capacity building for the institution or individual. So let it be defined which of the capacity. Is it resource capacity? Is it uh, logistic capacity? Is it uh, individual capacity? A lot of capacity. So let it be defined. Let it be defined. My issue there is. No, I said that's one issue. Okay, sir. I have another. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. No, before I talk on anybody, you know. 
Let me look at things from the perspective of the taxpayer. Is there a minimum or a maximum for the subvention? Yes. The chairman that can be determined by the Minister of Finance. Of course, because it's availability of. If you, if you want to put anything there, you can say just availability of resources. I don't want to put it there. But subvention, like any other MDs that are giving subvention, it's a more minister. You are giving the city. So the Minister of Finance will determine. They will use the formula. Maybe they look, we have talked about 5% if you agree. That's one criteria. And we have other criteria that will come out from the from PPR. From, uh, the Depending on the strength of the political. No, that will come. I don't want us to do that in this aspect of it. Let us give the general provision that they are giving subvention. Now the criteria coming, how do you, what percentage is it? It has to be it's discretionary. Is, is that what you say? From who? Minister of Finance? Yes, like us, Mr. Mr. Chairman, check 744. 74-4. So we determine our project by law in the constitution. But we don't have control by the boss. We don't have a boss about it. No, political parties, they, 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 it's subvention. You don't want to be able to do Normally, they give, they give cap for subvention for every MBA in the chairman. So if you say subvention, now we now talk to this law. The PPRC, the PPR, PPR, we now come and say, this is great here for you. Yeah, so have a discussion with the financial So the idea is, you want to be a democracy, right? It's the PPRC. You want to create space for democracy. <laughs> No, 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 no. Do I understand you either? We are the, the regulating body. But the whole objective is not pass now. The whole objective is we want to create a political space for democracy to thrive. Not so? Yes. Fine. But take this as an example. If you leave it entirely discretionary, no, it's not discussion. No, I, I'm, 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 I'm not posed to my question. Yes. There are degrees of support that political parties can manage. Of course, yes. To an existing uh, uh, government. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's really discretionary. Those who manifest support. Get X. Those who man manifest support not so good get X minus one. Mm -hmm. And so on and so forth. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, okay, I'm saying that situation that uh, for for the regulations coming. For the regulations, I think this can be one of the things that uh, you can put in We can come with, if I see that for passing to one of the we have determined, Mr. Speaker, if you say now, you put a, you put a cap here, it will be very difficult for you if the resources are available. So it's purely administrative. The, the only thing we can put here that can make sense to anybody really is availability of resources. My so concern one, is, is that you are creating a, a, a provision that tends itself to abuse. But, but like any other, you are giving silly. There are no safeguards. Let me see the Ministry of Defense or the Ministry of Finance or Parliament. You are giving a city for you to prepare your project for, for project allocation. You are giving a city. So political parties, based on the calculation that we get from Minister of Finance, they won't be giving a city. The quantum will give to SFP. It's not the same thing you give to ABC. If you're looking the same thing to ABC, so you should come up with a formula in, 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 in collaboration with Minister of Finance. That's all that's that's that has been the normal practice. Even MDA that are existing, the one that have been created like ministry. They are not giving the same ceiling. They, 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 depending on the functions, the, 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 the ceiling, the, the ceiling given to Minister of Agriculture, it's not the same ceiling given to Social Welfare. It can never be the same. So, like a political party, the ceiling given to APC cannot be the same ceiling given to PC. Or the one given to SFP cannot be the same ceiling given to NDC. They can be different. So, it depends. So, they have to work on the mathematics. If we still say we are going to give ceiling now, we're missing the point. And the whole business of subvention. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, I am of the opinion that uh, the essence of subvention is not for bigger political parties. These political parties can exist without subvention. 
But the essence of subvention is for smaller political parties not to be influenced by a political party in government. This is speaker I have seen on several occasions where government political parties in governance try to influence other political parties that are not in governance through giving them money. But if we have a law that mandates that, they will not think that they are doing them favor. They will think it's part of the country's law for them to be given some pension. So the essence of some pension is for these political parties not to be remote controlled by the government in power. You see, that is my that is my thinking. And Mr. Speaker, I want to state here that government should not be left with the discretion to determine what to give any political party. The subvention to political party must be uniform right across. I am again emphatically <coughs> insisting that this subvention is not made for bigger political parties. They are gone without 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 subvention. You know, but smaller political parties have not been managed by responsible people because they thought there is nothing there to manage. So any chick and jack will just come to run a political party because there are no resources in this political party. But we will begin to attract responsible people once there are funds of venture for these political parties. There are responsible people who decide to leave their home and come to run the political party. They will not be easily influenced. You see. So to me, Mr. Speaker, I want to advise that the amount is uniform. Because if any government is allowed to exercise its discretion on the amount, there is every tendency, as you stated, that they will give more money to political parties that dance in the same floor with them and deprive political parties that don't dance with them because they have the right to determine the amount to give to these political parties. But you support the idea, if I understand you correctly, you support the idea of subvention for the day-to-day -day running of political parties. Yes, sir. How yes. does that initial sign with subsection 7? Subsection 7? Yes, read it. But, but again, Mr. Speaker, read it. Read 7, please. What does it say? Yes, stop. Honorable Mr. Wild, read it. You are just reading it. Read 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 it. The political party shall not use the state's resources facilities or officials to hold its day-to-day -day activities, campaign and other electioneering exercises. Well, this is Peter again. We, 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 we have to look at the spirit behind the law. The spirit behind that very law is for political party which is in governance. For it not to misuse, you know, the resources to campaign. No political party in no, no political party in opposition can use the resources of the state to campaign. But now, we want to create... No, I'm going to try to understand it. What is the political party in government? It does not say government party. What that? The chairman, um, the chairman, I think we, we can just amend seven. Remove the day to day activities. Remove it. Yeah, because I said, if you are giving up, you have given the subvention, you can amend that particular provision, remove the day to day activities. It can only 